the spirit. It's no secret that ghosts are simply lost wandering souls, unaware that they've passed and often burdened with unfinished business. So it's no surprise that tragedies like war could cause an upsurge in ghostly activity. This might explain the creepy video footage you're about to see. Captured on a CCTV camera, a mysterious white thing appears on the left side of the screen. It quickly floats to the right past four unsuspecting women. The mysterious white thing then disappears into thin air. YouTube viewers believe this to be a ghost caught on camera, but what do you think? Real ghost or something else? Let me know down below. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Who is that? I found this next entry in the Facebook group, Paranormal Sightings, uploaded by user Kusela Medi. Kusela says that while home alone watching The Hobbit, he decided to take a picture of his newly renovated room and send it to a friend. This is the photo he sent. At first, the photo looks normal. However, if we enhance it, someone can be seen stood in the doorway, but Kusela says he was alone. So who is it? Facebook users have been left arguing in the comments on just who this figure standing in the doorway could be, with many suggesting that it looks like a person dressed in war uniform or a long coat and a tricorn hat. Others suggest there looks like there's two figures in the photo, but I can't see it myself. Maybe you can though. Regardless, this creepy image has really kicked up a debate in the Paranormal Sightings Facebook group. But is this a ghost? You tell me. The Apparition This next ghost video comes from the Paranormal Investigation channel Dark Arts TV Extra. Carl ventures out to the Brinksway Tunnels located in Stockport, England. The tunnels were built in the late 1930s and used as a bomb shelter during World War II. Just one year after the tunnels were completed, Stockport suffered heavy bombings. Many people had to run down to the tunnels to survive. In the video, Carl embarks on a lone exploration of these tunnels, or at least he thought he was. Yo, this is very, this is eerie. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going, see what, see where we go to. I know this is probably not a wise idea that I'm walking off on my own and stuff, but I don't know. all blocked off again. Right, I definitely can't hear anyone now. Right. What the f is that? Hello? Hello? Just as I was approaching the corner, I had an overwhelming feeling as if I wasn't alone. As I turned the corner, I could see what I thought to be a silhouette moving up the tunnel. On review, we can clearly see what seems to be a black figure with a yellow outline. We believe that this is possibly a spirit. Let us know what your thoughts are on this. This is weird. Right, I'm literally on my own in these tunnels. This is really weird because I've just literally come around the corner and no joking, I think I might have seen like a silhouette or something.
As Carl peers round a corner, a silhouette of someone or something quickly appears at the end of the tunnel before it disappears into nothingness. Carl says that this is quote, real paranormal evidence, ghosts captured on camera, in secret, haunted underground, and his viewers believe this to be the case. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? Let me know. The Lighthouse Church this next ghost video comes from the popular paranormal investigation channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series. Josh, Rocky and Sean investigate the Lighthouse Church in Lynn, Indiana, which carries a haunting connection to a notorious figure, Jim Jones. Known for leading a cult known as the People's Temple, Jones orchestrated a tragic event in Jonestown, Guyana that sent shockwaves around the world. He convinced his followers to drink a deadly concoction, leading to a massive loss of lives, and if anyone refused, it didn't go well for them. A few managed to escape the horrifying scene by running into the wilderness, but sadly, the majority, 918 people, were not so fortunate. Now, this old church didn't directly witness these events, but its ties to Jones run deep. It was his childhood church, and since that horrifying event, whispers of hauntings have echoed in its hallways. The ghost hunters spend two nights inside the church, documenting everything they could find, and this is what they found. Oh sh Don't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss. Thank you for talking to me. Would you like to tell me what your name is? Jim. Jim and he... Lord. Lord. said Jim and then said Lord. Oh my goodness. While attempting to communicate, Sean is shocked when a noise makes him jump. The word that is picked up is don't. He apologises for cursing and asks for the entity's name and bizarrely, it responds with the name Jim. While this was happening upstairs, Josh was down in the basement doing his own investigation alone. Do not. You don't? We know Jim Jones came here for many years as a child and then he moved on and became a reverend at different churches and then they did some very bad things Jim. whoa holy okay that was loud Josh asks any spirits that might be listening if they remember Jim Jones visiting the church. Initially, the answer he receives is no, but then someone says the name Jim. Rocky is also on his own, standing behind the podium in the church hall, conducting his own investigations. What makes this piece of evidence so much more compelling? Watch as the phone is lifted up and slammed down at the exact same time the EDI alerts Rocky to a spirit being present. As Rocky is wondering whether he should move to another part of the church, the EDI lights up, indicating the presence of a spirit. But before he even has a chance to look at the light, a phone on the podium lifts up and slams down all by itself right next to him. Meanwhile, Sean is still upstairs and his conversation isn't over yet. Whoa! Kai! I hear you! Do you not like me talking about- ah! Whoa! It's so freaking dark up here, I can't see. Oh crap! Yep, I'm out. Ah! It's coming! Bless me! God! No! Oh my god! Whatever the heck was out there just came running at me down the steps. Holy sh I'm out of here. 
Yep, Josh can have it. As Sean is asking questions, unaware to him, the camera captures multiple orbs swirling around him, while some shuffling noises can be heard in the background. He tries to ask if the spirits don't want him asking about Jim Jones, but before he can finish his sentence, a loud bang makes him jump and Sean gets out of there. But as he reaches the last few steps, it sounds like something runs down the stairs after him. The brothers decide all this activity means that they should now stick together. So they regroup in the main church hall with an SLS Connect camera and capture something absolutely chilling live on camera. I feel like if we're going to catch something, it's going to be in the basement. Well, I think we need to go up to the um, attic. It would be better if I just filmed the screen. Like if they're just watching the screen, that I won't need this light on. What do you think? As the Paranormal Nightmare TV series crew are moving to another part of the church, captured live on camera, a mysterious child-sized figure can be seen standing at the bottom of the stairs, staring down the hallway at the unsuspecting Foreman brothers. But the question is, who is it? And what makes this even more creepy is that earlier in the investigation, nothing was there. Paranormal activity, along with the live capture of this child-sized apparition in the video, has left YouTube viewers frozen in fear. What lends credibility to this spine-chilling encounter is that the Foreman brothers are recognised as one of the most reliable paranormal investigation channels out there. Many viewers, like user Tiffany9776, believe this to be quote, the holy grail of paranormal evidence. They're convinced that this is undoubtedly a full-bodied apparition of a child, possibly even the spectral image of Jim Jones in his younger days. The evidence has me personally convinced of its authenticity, but what's your take on it? Could this really be the apparition of a ghost caught on camera? I'm eager to hear your take on this. Where did it go? This next video comes from the paranormal investigation channel Nightwatch Exploration, where he visits an old abandoned military bunker miles out in the middle of nowhere. Prior to filming the video, there were no reports of it being haunted, but it was creepy enough to warrant a closer look, and as fate would have it, their suspicion was eerily accurate. There's no way, whatever that, listen. No, that's just thunder. That's thunder, but what the was that? There's no way, can't make it. There's no way, there's no way that whatever we just saw could run. Through here, that through fast. Here. I mean, look how thick that bush is. Look at this. There's no way, would've hurt him. he would've been off. Did you catch it? No? Well, let's stabilize the video. As the camera pans around, a strange, pale figure can be seen peeking around the doorway for a split second before it quickly ducks away out of sight. The explorers see it and rush over to it, but when they get there, the pale figure is nowhere to be seen. What really cranks up the eerie factor here is that this place is completely overgrown. There's no logical escape route for whatever that was. So did it vanish into thin air? And as mentioned earlier, this hangar is miles out in the middle of nowhere. So it begs the question, just who or what was watching them? And where did it go? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. It's watching you. This creepy clip comes from TikTok user Pup, who was home alone relaxing in her home when she noticed something out of the corner of her eye. 
Qué miedo, qué da. ¿Qué haces? Andate de mi casa. ¿Quién sos? Andate de mi casa. ¡Eh! Andate de mi casa. Ayuda. Pitch Black figure stands motionless in the hallway and appears to just stand there staring right at Pupe. Some TikTok viewers say that similar incidents have happened to them and many believe this to be a demon. But what do you think? Is this a demon caught on camera as TikTok viewers believe? Let me know what you think. The Pontianak. This next creepy video comes from the subreddit Ghosts. The video is titled Pontianak or Kuntilanak was spotted in an amateur video recording on Indonesian national news on 20th of April 2023. And well, after watching the video, that just might be. Did you spot it? For a split second, when the camera moves to the left, a mysterious figure dressed in white with long dark hair can be seen lingering in the background. Some viewers suggest that she looks as if she's floating, and if we zoom in, it does indeed look like it. Many people believe this mysterious figure is a Pontianak, or as some might call her, a Kuntilanak, a terrifying female spectre thirsting for vengeance, known for instilling sheer terror in her victims. But what do you think? Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this one. Behind you. This next creepy video comes from the Japanese ghost hunting channel Black Story. Kuro, the ghost hunter behind the channel, received a call from a friend who had a very scary story to tell him. His friend told him that he'd been driving down a dark tunnel alone when he heard what sounded kind of like stones hitting his car. He thought the stones might have been kicked up by his wheels, but it was so loud and strange that he decided to get out of the car to check. As he was looking around, he noticed a creepy figure in his rear view mirror. The figure was running down the tunnel towards him. Terrified, he leapt back into his car and raced out of the tunnel. Kuro, Intrigued by his friend's experience, decided to venture out in the dead of night to conduct a paranormal investigation deep in the tunnel. For the first part of the video, nothing much really happens. However, when Kuro is about to leave, things get a little bit creepy. <laughs> Kuro mentions he can hear a woman's voice and the sounds of footsteps walking in the shadows directly behind him, but no one can be seen, or at least from this camera, they couldn't. The next clip you're about to see is footage taken exactly at the same time, but from Kuro's handheld camera. <laughs> you see her? As Kuro tilts the camera, the face of someone or something can be seen for a split second, standing in the darkness right behind him. But on the static camera, no one can be seen. 
And if you look at the timing of both cameras, everything happens at exactly the same time. So I highly doubt that this is a pre-recorded video being played. YouTube viewers were left horrified by this scary figure lurking in the darkness behind Kuro, with many believing it to be the same ghost that his friend encountered on his journey through the tunnel. But what do you think? Did Japanese ghost hunter Kuro capture a ghost on camera inside this tunnel? You tell me. The Watcher the next ghost video comes from another Japanese ghost hunting channel, Gakuburu TV. Chibitama heads out alone to the ruined Hongakuji temple, which is rumoured to be incredibly haunted. In the video, Chibitama explores the old ruined temple's main building, where he hears a lot of strange noises. Then, later on, he decides to make his way down a wooded path to another part of the ruined temple. He sets up a static camera and takes a look around. Not long later, a woman's voice can be heard singing, all alone and creeped out. Chibitama decides to cut the investigation there, but as he's leaving, he encounters something which made his blood turn cold. now this is where i have to ask did you spot it as Chibitama closes the doors to the ruined temple, a pale white face can be seen peeking through the gap of the door. It stares right at Chibitama, who sees it before it disappears like it was never there. Gakuburu TV's viewers were left creeped out by whatever this is seen peeking through the gap of the door. Viewers believe it to be a spirit of a woman who has been seen wandering the temple grounds late at night. But what do you think? Use the comments to share your thoughts. The clean up. CCTV cameras capture many strange things. This footage, uploaded to YouTube by Alan Abueg, is titled School Ghost at Morning and shows a cleaner going about his daily tasks when something creepy happens right next to him in broad daylight. Caught on a CCTV camera, two dustpans quickly slide out across the floor. The man looks up, but seems undeterred, or maybe he just didn't notice. Viewers have been left spooked by this video, with many believing it to be real paranormal activity. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. How is this possible? Imagine being kept awake by something so bizarre that you have to grab your camera in the middle of the night. That's exactly what happened here. This person couldn't ignore the strange happenings anymore, so they decided to capture it on video, hoping to both prove its existence and possibly unravel the mystery behind it. Right guys, um, this coin, um, amazing. Um, People aren't believing what's happening in this house. I've left this all night and all I've heard is it rattling inside. Now, I want you to witness what I'm going through here because uh, maybe if you just see for yourself, innit? This is what I'm dealing with. Are you angry because you're dead? What are you angry about? Strangely, the coin in the closed jar flips over mysteriously all on its own. It does it again and again, but how? The title of this video uploaded by Creepy7 Paranormal is Real Poltergeist Activity Caught on Tape. Paranormal Activity in Home. What do you think? Does it live up to its name? Let me know. The 
haunting of Arash Afnan. These set of creepy clips come from TikTok, uploaded by Arash Afnan. Arash says he's been tormented in his own home by something sinister, and decided to document and upload his encounters to the internet. This is what they showed. toy on the floor emits some kind of interference. Arash puts it on the table and walks away, but then another toy behind him makes a noise. This was only the beginning. Assalamualaikum! Arash's child can be seen playing with another child, however, there were no other children in the house. Arash shouts and the hands disappear and when he rushes over to where the hands were seen, no one's there. In this next clip, Arash is in his kitchen when he's disturbed by noises coming from one of the cupboards. Loud banging noises can be heard echoing off the cupboard door. Arash opens it up, but no one's in there. A bottle then mysteriously moves on its own, and then a hand appears to slide the door closed while the sound of giggling can be heard. But where did he come from? This next clip, Arash is awoken by noises coming from his living room. Dari tadi mai ketuk, ketuk. Dengan selimut anak bersepah kat sini. And diam pula. Ketuklah lagi. Dubis ambil selimut dubis ni. This time, the knocking can be heard coming from the cabinet under the TV. But when he opens it, there's nothing inside. Then, as he's leaving, another noise like a child's voice makes him turn. And suddenly, in the middle of the room, something that looks like a child is standing with the blanket over its head. That wouldn't be the last time it would use the blanket to show itself. Dubis! Dubis! Masuk! Arash finds his child sat in front of whatever is hiding under the blanket. Arash calls his son over, but he refuses and just sits there looking menacingly at Arash. Then, when Arash runs over, a voice can be heard saying, and the blanket falls to the ground. However, later that evening, the activity continues. Dubis! Kenapa Dubis selalu mengam di tu? Arash and his son find the blanket standing on the sofa. He walks right up to it and pulls the blanket off, but there's nothing under it. On another night, Arash's son decides to record a selfie video when something creepy happens. Something with long dark hair appears to pop up out of the washing.
washing machine before quickly ducking back down. Arash's son goes to look, but he can't see it. Terrified, he yells for his mother. In this next clip, Arash finds his son acting rather strange. Hey, Rubis. Kenapa duduk dalam meja? Siapa pasang TV kau kuat tu? Jom, Rubis. Jom, jom, jom. Arash finds his son under the dining table. He tells him to be quiet and points up to the top of the table. Arash checks what his son was saying and then a child's hand quickly grabs the doll off the table. But it couldn't have been his son's hand as he hasn't moved. He tells his child to get out from under the table but then a terrifying screeching noise prompts his son to repeat his first instructions and the video ends there. On another night, Arash is awoken by noises again. He grabs his phone and goes to investigate. In the middle of the night, whistling can be heard in the living room. Then suddenly, a child's hand reaches up over the TV before disappearing. Arash runs to look, but there's nothing there. In this next clip, the whistling would lure him again. <coughs> creepy figure can be seen standing behind the curtain. Arash steps closer and when he pulls the curtain back, there's nothing behind it. In this final clip, Arash hears noises coming from his kitchen. Wailing noises can be heard coming from the kitchen. Arash approaches with caution and then something with long dark hair can be seen peeking out from behind the fridge. It then quickly slips away out of sight. Arash checks where it just was but finds nothing. Then the hair appears and it makes the creepiest sound ever. TikTok viewers were left scared to go to sleep after seeing these scary videos uploaded by Arash Afnan. Many viewers speculate that the extensive activity Arash is experiencing is the result of a malevolent entity. However, others argue that Arash is simply just a genius at editing and staged the whole thing. But what do you think? Is Arash being haunted by something sinister or is it all just for views? You tell me. The Graduation The following creepy video was recorded at a graduation somewhere in the Philippines and has gone viral after news stations aired it. Graduations are supposed to be all about celebrations, joy and positive vibes. But this particular ceremony took an unexpected turn. On the rooftop, a mysterious ghostly figure dressed in a white gown, eerily similar to the students, can be seen. A figure just stands there, creepily watching the crowd below. Rumour has it that this mysterious figure could be the so-called White Lady, a famous ghost in the Philippines. According to legend, the White Lady was a woman of privilege who suffered a tragic and harsh end. Some versions of the story claim she was a beautiful young woman wronged by those she trusted, leading to her untimely demise. Others suggest she perished in a horrifying car accident, her spirit unable to find peace. Could this figure at the graduation ceremony be the infamous white lady making her spectral presence known? Or is it merely a well orchestrated prank or illusion? You tell me. A walk in the woods. This next creepy video has been shared before, however, it hasn't been picked up by other channels in a while, so I thought I'd feature it. The video which was uploaded by Nick Foster, who, while out walking in the woods, happily filming his dog Poppy, captured more on his camera than he was expecting.
way. Did you see it? Caught on camera in the dark woods, a pale, white, ghostly figure can be seen walking between the trees in the distance. But who is it? Nick says that, quote, In the video, I capture something walking. It looked like a soldier in a helmet and trench coat. He adds that, to his knowledge, he was the only person there with his dog, Poppy. Viewers agree with Nick's suggestion, embracing the possibility that it could indeed be the ghost of a soldier, wandering alone in this dark forest. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? I'm curious to know your thoughts on this one. An Unseen Presence the final video for today comes from the YouTube channel Franco TV. Frank, the fearless explorer, sets off on a solo mission into the eerie quiet of the night. His destination, an ancient abandoned monastery believed to be teeming with paranormal activity. As Frank ventures deep into the shadows of the monastery, he soon realizes that he might not be alone as he initially thought. What is up, guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. I just made it to this crazy location. I did a What the hell was that? I am freaking out right now. What the hell is that? Look at what I found. I'm right now outside and this place is horrifying. What the hell is that? I legit thought somebody was peeking out at me there. I was like, that's horrifying. Terrifying noises can be heard coming from the darkness surrounding Frank. He reaches the monastery and the eerie sounds continue echoing from the shadows. Ten minutes into the video, whatever is hiding in the darkness making those noises decides to show itself. This is horrifying. I'm gonna try to keep this camera as still as I can. You see it? What the hell is that? It's big. There's more than just one. The eerie sounds continued to be heard. Frank points his camera towards the railings to try and see what could be making those noises. And then, several pairs of glowing eyes can be seen just watching Frank from the darkness. Terrified by what he's seeing, Frank flees inside to where he feels safer. Frank's viewers were on the edge of their seats while watching this video, with many wondering just what on earth were those eyes watching Frank from the shadows. Frank says that, quote, something demonic was waiting for him outside. But now, I turn the question to you. What do you think these unnerving eyes could be? Is this a demonic presence, as Frank says? Or could it be something else entirely? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.